When you did the, the look at the DNA with the new process, and that's going to be a key phrase, but you wound up, there are now two other potential suspects. Neither, obviously, is Syed, which is why he's getting out. Um, so there are two other people mm -hmm. who could be looked at. But the first question is, uh, the timing here. Is this just because of technology or is it because the attorney general or other people who were looking at this case didn't want to do what you did and that this was justice delayed for bad reason? Justice delayed is justice denied. So there are a multitude of sort of issues that played into this case. Um, you know, unfortunately, this was not a case that was in my office. Um, and so we weren't responsible for the ultimate outcome. Um, this was a case that was being handled by the attorney general's office. And for seven years, and prior to even that, 23 years, um, there was exculpatory evidence that was sat upon and was not provided to defense counsel. For that bad reason? The outcome of the case. Was this misfeasance or malfeasance? Was this them not doing the job well or was it not doing the job well on purpose? What I can tell you is this. I, I can't tell you the intention of the individual prosecutors. I can say that there were two alternative suspects in this particular case, one of whom had motive to kill this beautiful young woman and had actually threatened to kill this beautiful young woman, both of whom had a history of sexual violence against women. Um, and, uh, you know, overall, these individuals were erroneously, one of the individuals were erroneously cleared by faulty polygraph tests. There was faulty cell site, you know, information that was relied upon in the original trial. There was a detective that has a history of misconduct that has been associated with other cases that have been exonerated out of my office. So I can't tell you the intent of the prior prosecutors, but what I can say is that once it was brought to our attention and these red flags existed, we did our due diligence to ensure that all of the evidence was tested, ultimately arriving at today's um, outcome. A few more beats. First one is, uh, will you investigate the investigators? And if not you, is that something that should be um, suggested by your office to federal authorities to find out why uh, this case was held up because a man's life uh, was largely wasted. I mean, it's a sad case all around. I, I, I feel I have so much empathy for this family who thought that they had closure, you know, and it's like ripping a wound off of uh, a, a Band-Aid off of an old wound. Um, and I feel really bad for it also equally the family of Adnan Saeed and Adnan who spent 23 years in prison and was, I believe, wrongfully convicted. And so you know, there were a, a number of misdeeds that happened in this case. I can't. I hear I don't you, but who will look into why those misdeeds it. happened? Is that your I, office what, or somebody else? My priority, else? it's not my office. Uh, my priority is to ensure we find the perpetrators, the real perpetrators of the individuals that killed Heyman Lee. So, but what I, I don't understand is who's going to look into the attorney general and what was done in this case and why it was done wrong, because that's the only way you root out it not happening again. You know, these are questions that I've been asking of the media. I mean, you know, media. unfortunately, they, they, I'm not just the media, but I, I'm, my priority, to be quite candid with you, Chris, is, is I'm going to utilize, I have two and a half more months left in office. I'm going to utilize every resource to try to get to the real perpetrators of this crime and this offense. And so, you know, there, there's constant questions of ulterior motives as to why this man spent 23 years in prison for something he, he, may, he most likely did not commit. And so my priority is to, to pursue justice on behalf of that family. I understand. Prosecutor, thank you very much. You know, while you have the power, I don't have to tell you, but use the power. Let people know this was done wrong. And the closer we get to finding Obviously. out why, the more justice is preserved. Thank you very much for being on with us Obviously. tonight. I appreciate you. No, thank you for having me, Chris. All right. Good luck.